if you skate, you know you get hurt and it's really hard to <laughs> like heal from those injuries. And some of these stories are like, wow, yeah. man. Like I mean, We both have a bunch of friends that have not been able to skate the way they want to and used to be able to. And they didn't find something else that they were as passionate about. And that leads to problems with substance and just depression and you gotta find skating outside of skating if you can't skate because it does exist. Day's looking good so far. <laughs> Dabbled with fishing as long as I can remember but fly fishing about four or five years. It just so happens that my wading boots are the only shoes I can get my toe in without a bunch of pain. A box of woolly buggers, that's where a little black bugger, a little egg sucking head. Should get a little attention from most things. Got the pin from my foot right here. Eventually I'm gonna tie a fly on this and catch a, a heater. I heard it like last May and I went to the emergency room right after they did x-rays and told me I was fine and didn't give me any explanation of like why I was having all the pain or like a boot or like to seek a follow-up. They just were like, it's just bruised, like it'll be fine in a couple weeks. And I gave it months of trying to get better on its own and didn't seem to get any better. So I just started trying to skate on it at like three or four months and kind of get it through the summer. I could skate just not how I wanted to and it didn't feel right. And after the summer trips were over, I got fed up and decided to go get an MRI and it turned out my little toe, the base joint had been dislocated the whole time. And now since it had been out for that long, it had been tearing in the plant of fascia. If I would have just had a dislocated toe, I probably could have just been okay. Like tons of people have like a crooked toe or whatever. Like it's not a big deal, but the plant of fascia was ripped, like all ripped below it and that could spread. So got the surgery and it sucked. Like every injury I find like a new hobby. The first shoulder surgery is when I got a kayak for the first time because I thought it would be a good rehab for my shoulder and I kayaked for a few months without even thinking about fishing really and then one of my friends Nick Kenny was like yo you really shouldn't be kayaking without trolling a fly line I was like really like I don't know fly fishing it's probably confusing it seems complicated and everyone who does it seems like they're all snooty and <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just waving a, a line with a, a fly on the end of it, just like a whip. During the hip dislocations, BMX was a huge lifesaver because I could somehow like ride a bike because I could hold onto the handlebars and my hip would still pop out sometimes, but it was like way not as bad. That was really great, but yeah, nothing comes close to the, the fishing at this point. I didn't think I would ever find something that got me as stoked as skating, but fishing and camping and exploring new waters and rivers is probably my favorite thing to do in life now.